Alright guys, MTech Guy here and today we're going to take a look at the tyre pressure monitoring system on the E60 M5 and how to go about reinitialising the system if you get a warning up on your dash. Ok, so what is the tyre pressure monitoring system? Well like a lot of modern cars, these E60 M5s have a feature where the car's computer is going to monitor the tyre pressure and it's going to alert you if that tyre pressure starts decreasing, if it gets low or worst case you get a blowout. So how does it work? Well, this is where it gets interesting because the earlier E60 M5s had a different system to the later E60 M5s and if I remember rightly, this change happened around 2007. So the earlier E60 M5s had what they called a flat tyre monitoring system and this worked off the back of the ABS system. So essentially you've got an ABS sensor at each wheel, all four corners, and this is looking at a ring on the hub and the car's computer is using that sensor to count the teeth on these rings. Now if the computer reads a disparity from one of the hubs in comparison to the other three, then that will be letting it know that the rolling radius has changed. And what do we mean by the rolling radius? Well this means the overall diameter of your tyre and your wheel there. So obviously if you have a decrease in pressure, that rolling radius is going to change. And if it detects this over a reasonable amount of time, then it's going to alert the driver that there's an issue with the flat tyre monitoring system. You've got a low pressure and at least one of your tyres. Now the later models use a slightly different system whereby it used a sensor on the inside of your valve there. So this sat inside your tyre on the other side of your valve on the inner portion. And if one of these sensors detected a low pressure situation, then same again, it's just going to alert the driver that one or more of the tyres is running low in pressure. OK, so you've had the warning up on your dash for low tyre pressure. Now the first thing you want to be doing is just take a walk around the car and just visually inspect each tyre, because usually it's pretty obvious if one's running a bit low, or obviously if you've had a blowout. So that's the easiest way to identify which one's causing the fault. But sometimes it's not always obvious, so then the next step is going to be to get a tyre pressure gauge and just go around and check each one and then reinflate the tyres as required to the specified pressures. Now where do you find these pressures? You can have a look in the back of the owner's manual or we can take a look in the driver's door jam, which can be found here on this label and this will give you the specification for the exact tyre pressure for different scenarios, different amount of occupants in the car, different wheel size, different tyre size, all the information is there. And then once you've completed that, the next step is to reinitialize the tyre pressure monitoring system and the purpose of this is to re-establish that baseline tyre pressure with the car's computer and then moving forward it can continue to monitor that exact pressure and then again it can identify if there's a low tyre pressure situation that comes up in the future. OK, so next up we'll jump in the car and we'll run through the steps of what's required to re-initialize your tyre pressure monitoring system. OK, so we're going to take a look at how to reinitialize your tyre pressure monitoring system inside the car here. Now if we take a look down here on the centre console, you've got this button here, which is like a cross section of a tyre with a little exclamation mark inside of it. Now to reinitialize the system, first off you need to reinflate your tyres to the correct pressure and you want to be doing that early in the morning when it's cold outside. If you do it later in the day when it's warmer, what can happen? is the pressure will reduce the following morning. It might just be below that threshold where you'll get the same warning up again. So you're going to reinflate your tyres to the correct pressure while they're cold early in the morning. And you're going to jump inside the car here and you're going to hold this button down for at least four seconds, but no longer than two minutes. And once you let that go, you'll see a warning come up on your instrument cluster there. Now at this stage, it still isn't initialised. You need to go and drive the car. And once you do, once you drive off in the car, then that will reset and it will reinitialize, and that's it. It's as simple as that. There is a way to determine whether you've got the earlier flat tire monitoring system or the later tire pressure monitoring system. Now we do this by taking a look at the iDrive. So if we go into information, and then if we go into settings, you've got vehicle and tires there. And if you go into there, you can see at the top portion of the menu there, you've got flat tire monitoring. And then if we go into that, it'll give you instructions on how to reset the system. And you'll just click into that when you're ready. And that'll be the same process as how we did it with the button on the center console. 
So you've essentially got two different ways you can go about reinitializing the system. Okay, so that's basically how the system works, the differences between the early and the late system, and how to go about reinitializing the system. Okay, so how can the system fail and what should you be looking out for? Well, certainly that earlier system is relying on them ABS sensors. Them ABS sensors can fail and that will normally give you a warning up on the dash and a fault code which will point you in the right direction and it's normally accompanied by a DSC fault and an ABS fault at the same time. And then the later style with the sensor at the valve can also become faulty, especially if you've had your tyres changed out, it can become damaged. This type of thing you know, so it's worth keeping in mind if you get a fault come up just after you have some tyres changed out. It's normally one of the sensors. All right guys, so there we have it. That gives you a bit of an overview on the tyre pressure monitoring system for the E60 M5. And it's not just specific to the M5. This information covers any E60. Now, if you found the video interesting or useful, don't forget to give it a like and make sure you go and check out the rest of my YouTube channel for more BMW content. Consider subscribing if that's your cup of tea. I'm M Tech Guy. Thanks a lot for watching.